from Hollywood. We're just going to get right into this. It's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Monkey time, monkey time. Everybody knows what that is. And now, and now here he is, Tom Micah. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Micah Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's never kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio, you and me. You, me, and a big stick. That's what we call a transmitter on the radio business. <laughs> Among other things. <laughs> anyway, um... I've just got to say this. I've got to say this, and um, it's not like there is some specific topic I had in mind here. It's just something emotional and something I, I have to get out to you. Uh, we had an hour of callers calling in and talking about the nagging they tolerate from women. And I am amazed and shocked and, frankly, frightened when I hear some of these callers frightened the amount of crap that guys tolerate i i'm blown away how much crap guys tolerate and i am amazed at how pussy whipped you guys are how pathetic you sound you don't get angry you pay the mortgage 100 percent of it you pay the rent 100 percent of it you pay the electric bill 100 percent of it you pay the gas bill 100 percent of it you pay the cable tv bill 100 percent of it you pay the broadband internet bill 100 percent of it you pay for the groceries 100 percent of that you pay for uh, everything you pay to support the children she had with other better looking guys than you who turned out to be deadbeats, jerks, and creeps. And so you have done the responsible thing, and you're taking your money and paying and supporting these kids. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I, you know, I could sit here and do this show, and I can ask questions, and I can solicit phone calls, and I can try to reason with you. But I'm getting frightened. I'm just being honest with you. I'm just laying myself bare to you right now. I am getting frightened of some of the uh, sounds of these voices. The men who have uh, grown up, usually raised by single mothers or others who are not dads who kick your ass. And you can see how pathetic and desperate and what doormats these guys are. Oh, my God. It's killing me. I sit here and I try to be cool. You know, I try to do the show. I try to provide a little backbone for you guys with no spine. I try to sit here and reason it out with you. And, and not only do you guys call in. Many times you're calling for advice. But then when I start giving you advice, you start arguing with me. Of course, you pussies would never argue with her. This is what really gets to me. You guys are calling and go, oh, yeah, I pay the rent. Yeah, I pay the mortgage. Well, you know, Tom, she had no place to stay. What was I supposed to do? She had no place to stay. And she had a kid. And they had no place to live. And she had to come stay with me. Yeah, of course she's 34. And, yes, she used to have a job. And, yes, she's been married before. But she needed a place to live. And she had no place to live. And I had to do it. Pathetic. You guys are sad sacks. Absolutely tragic. There's a reason there's very... Can I just say this? Oh, people hate when I say this. I have to say it. There's a reason there's very few rich people. Do you know why? Because rich people would never take the crap you take. Rich people didn't become rich by giving every broad yeah, by, uh, uh, money. 
supporting every bra that came along, using every vagina like a cash register. Come on! Rich people became rich by saying no. I'm trying to help you guys be successful. And step one is learning how to say no. My agent, who is a wonderful person and the light of my life, and I would jump in front of a bus for him, and there's very few people I would say that about, and he is the world's greatest gentleman, and I, I believe you, I can see here in wax philosophical about all of the wonderful attributes of my fantastic, wonderful agent, and I hope he's an agent until he's 150 years old, and he's, he's that good. He's a good person, and he's good to me, and... He was like a surrogate father. What can I say? He's absolutely the best. And he taught me, among other things, the importance of saying no. No, I won't take that job. No, I won't read that commercial. No, I don't want to be in that movie if there's no pay for it. We got a call. I'm going to tell you right up front. We got a call here from a TV show that is now on the air and is a hit TV show called Criminal Minds on CBS. And we got a call from the producer of the show. And the producer of the show called here and he said, uh, I want to use a clip from your show. The, the opening scene in the pilot, the guy's driving around in L.A. and, you know, in the afternoon driving in L.A. In my head, the way L.A. sounds in the afternoon is your show playing in the background. I want to use a clip of that. So I told him to call my agent. So he said, okay. And he called my agent. And my agent said, all right, what do you want? So he said what he wanted. He said he wanted to use clip of my show. And my agent said, okay, well, how much are you proposing to pay for that? And the guy said, oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not going to pay for it. We figured, you know, it, uh, it would be a real kick for Tom to see uh, that his voice was being used in the show. And... And, and uh, you know, it would be in the pilot, it would be the first episode, and uh, it would be a big deal. Now, of course, would I like to turn on the TV and see um, my voice being used uh, to establish the opening scene in this hit TV show? Would I like to see that? Sure, I'd love to see it. But that's what my agent is there for. He said, there is no way you're giving away your work. You're not giving away your art. You're not doing it. We're going to say no to this. I don't know who they ended up using or if they used anybody. But the point is, if, you, if I were left by own devices, <laughs> somebody might get to me with an argument like that. You know, well, you just get the kick of hearing your voice on the show. But my agent is the one who's right. I learned it from him. you got to say no to people. you got to say no. And I'm amazed at how many of you guys don't know how to say no. I, and, and yes, I understand you want to get laid. Get laid, and then when they want something in return for it, this is when the rubber meets the road. This is when you have to kick her ass out the door. This is when you kick her ass out. When she starts telling you, okay, you got a free sample, now you're going to have to pay. Okay? You got your first three months of Vonage for nine ninety nine. now it's twenty four ninety nine. When they start saying that, you have to say no. I already got a taste. That's what I wanted. Thank you. And you boys don't have the power, the willpower. The, uh, you guys don't have the fortitude, the testicular fortitude. And I mean that in every sense of the word. You don't have the testicular fortitude to say no. Oh, sure, move in. I know you need a place to live. This will only be for a little while, right? Oh, sure, yes. And your little crumb cruncher. Uh, that you have with some other guy who you dated, who you thought was hotter than I am? Sure, bring him too, absolutely. And what's that? Oh, you lost your job, and now you're having a hard time finding another one. Don't worry, I'll pay for everything. Pussies! You're a bunch of goddamn pussies! It pisses me off to hear this. I'm not complaining. They pay me an S load of money to come in here and listen to your sob stories. They pay me a crap load, a pant load. They pay me big time. So go ahead and keep calling all you pathetic pussies. You keep calling. But every once in a while, the truth has to be told, you are a pathetic pussy. If you're paying 100% of the rent or mortgage, you're a pussy. If you're paying 100% of the groceries, you're a pussy. 
If you're paying 100% of the utilities at home, the electric bill, the gas bill, the cable TV bill, you're a pussy. If you're paying for her clothes, you're a pussy. If you're paying her car payments, you're a pussy. If you're paying for a car and her name is on the title, you're a real pussy. Are you paying her student loan? You're a pussy. Are you paying her visa bill, your ma her MasterCard bill, her American Express bill? You're a pussy. Are you paying off loans? You're a pussy. Are you co-signing for loans she can't make payments on? Pussy, pussy, pussy. I can only take so much of this. I sit here day in and day out. I told you guys I'd be here all summer, and here I am. I'm sitting here listening to you pussies calling in, and there comes a time, there comes a breaking point. I'm having it right now. I have sex all the time. I'm not paying anybody's rent. I'm not paying anybody's mortgage on their condo. I'm not paying for anybody's groceries. I'm not buying anybody gasoline. I'm not making anybody's car payments. How is it that I get laid all the time and I've got more money than you've got? How is it that I get laid all the time and I am not paying somebody's cable bill, their electric bill? I'm not paying for anybody's cellular telephone. I'm not paying for anything. And one pussy after another calls in, yeah, well, Tom, she has no place to go, boy. I never move in. And now I don't know what to do because her name's on the lease, her name's on the deed to my house, and her name is on the title of the car, and uh, my name is on all the utilities, and she doesn't make any payments, so I have to pay 100% of all the utilities. Pussy! You're a pussy. What's the question here? What's the question? As Larry King once said, God damned if I know. I have no idea what the question is. I'm just amazed at how many of you spineless weasels are out there. Pussies all! Am I the only one who feels this way? Tom like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Hey, doing the Lord's work, Father. Keep it up. It's the Tom Like It Show. <laughs> it's the Tom Like It Show. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. I just had a meltdown. I don't. I can't tell you what the topic is, but the question is, I just had a meltdown. Stephen on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing? Doing great. Uh, I know you're not doing too good, man. I heard you I, uh, on the radio right now, and um, you know what? I'm I, I'm tired of hearing everybody, all these pussies calling up. You know, you know, just. I, I just um, I, I know what you're going through. I'm pissed off. I, I see it in my family all the time, and and I hear it on the radio. I listen. I've been listening to you all summer, and and I, I'm surprised it took you so long to finally just blow up on everybody. I'm I'm going to do something completely completely out of character uh, in the next hour. Really? I'm going to tell you now what it is. So if you get busy or something, you can come back, because I, I don't want you to miss this. Uh -huh. We've talked to losers and pussies for so long. Coming up in an hour, I'm going to ask people who are absolutely successful, who listen to this show, to call in and lord it over all the pathetic pussies who call in here. I don't want to be the only one lording my success over the pussies, so I'm going to invite some of the successful people who I know are the majority of our listeners. You may not be able to tell by the calls we get. And I'm tired of that, too. I'm tired of people saying, you show has nothing but a bunch of loser listeners, a bunch of losers. In the next hour, I'm going to show you how not losers they are. Well, that's that's good. You know what I want to I, I want to hear some success stories because you know what I, I come from a place where there is no success and you know there's a lot of pussies in my family. I'm the only guy right now that doesn't have a kid. Everybody's uh, I'm 22 years old. Everybody's got you know kids or with these girls or they're they're getting involved with the wrong girls. They're going to jail for domestic violence. You know and they're having to pay fees. It's it's it's, it's a bunch of crap, man. 
It is a bunch of crap, and it's pissing me off. Yeah, it's pissing me off, too. It I mean, I, I must tell you, I'm the only one in my family with no kids. Me, too. Me I'm too. the only one who's not married. Mm -hmm. But I'm the one with the most money, the most success. Not in my opinion, I'm having the most fun. Yeah, and that's why I like listening to your show, because, you know what, I want to be... I want to be a success one day, you know, and I want to be able to, you know, to, you know, be able to provide for myself. And, you know, I don't, I'm not really looking to have a family. I'm looking to have fun, you know, just like you. And, and, uh, you know, you're, you're, what you're doing on the radio is, is, is great, man. I, I, I really look up to you. Thank you, Steve. Um, that's all I wanted to say. Just wanted to, you know, I know how, I know what you're, what you're going through. Um, uh, just, you know, um, I'm going to listen the next hour, and uh, I, I look forward to hearing those su those success stories. That's what we're going to do next hour, Stephen. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've never done this before. Because, honestly, I've always had more fun talking to the losers, but I'm at my wit's end. Now I've got to hear, <laughs> at least once in a while, I've got to hear from these success stories, the people who are doing just great. There's more of them listening than the losers, and, and they never get a chance to call in and, and tell us how much money they make, and how professional they are, and how uh, how successful they are. So we're going to do that next hour. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number, Ari on the Tom Likas Show, hello. How you doing, Tom? I love you, man. Thank you. You're like a godfather to me. Every word you say, I I just do it. I've been listening to you for the past month now, and everything you say is true. I'm in sales, and every time I get a customer coming in and I put something on the table, it's let me ask my wife this, let me ask my girlfriend this, let me see this. And in my mind, I'm just thinking the same thing as, as you are. What a pussy. I'm amazed when they have to ask. You don't have to ask anybody. You're a man. Make up your own mind. You want it? Do it. You don't? Don't. Absolutely. And everything you've been saying for the past hour is what I feel every week. The world is, is concentrated with too many pussies with these, with these, uh, these brainwashed men by these Oprah-raised women. I can't stand it anymore. I agree with you. I feel you. And, and I see my buddies. I see them. Hey, man, let's go out and hang out for the weekend. I got to ask my girlfriend. Grow up. Grow a pair. Go find them. Go buy some. <laughs> God, you know, what you really need is not to have a girlfriend. Exactly. I tell them, DTB. Just like you say, DTB, dump that bitch. I love it. And you know what? What's the point? You guys are fighting all week, and you make up for the weekend, and then you fight for the next week? It just doesn't make sense for me. It's I have totally, a stress-free week. Totally outrageous, sorry. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Edgar on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? Not much, Edgar. Uh, yeah, I'm in a relationship right now. I've been in for about a year and a half. And every once in a while, she'll start to nag on me about my drinking or, you know, not taking care of myself or my parting ways or my spending habits. And... Right away, it starts into an argument, but I will I won't back down. I will not back down. But I put up with her because I love her, and she takes really good care of me. But I had her move in with me. When she came and lived with me, I laid down the rule that I make pretty good money. I have a, I have a good job. When I told her that if you move in with me, you come in. Whatever uh, bills that you have, that's your responsibility. You take care of that. And the only thing I ask for you is that you buy the groceries. I pay for everything, the, elect the electricity and the cable and the, and the rent, only because it, it, I could afford it and it wasn't killing my pocket. Yeah, but, why, but the point is, even if you could afford it, why should you afford it? That money that you're spending on that stuff could be put away. It could be invested. It could be there for you in case the marriage or relationship doesn't work out. No, but see, no, I, I wasn't, she didn't have a free ride. This is what I'd be spending even if she wasn't there. No, but the point is, once she's there, she should pay half. Well, she she couldn't really afford to pay half, but I really wanted to be with this girl. Yeah, and, but you had to pay for it. 
No. Yes. And, well, I'm sorry. It'd be the same. Because you just said. You just said. I said, why are you paying for it? Well, I I, I want to be with this girl. No, but I'm paying the same, the same amount of money that I'd be paying even if she wasn't there. That's why when she came in, I just had her pay for the groceries. That's the only thing that went up because now it's two mouths to feed. But the point is that now there's somebody sharing it. And by the way, every time she turns on the hot water to take a shower, that's costing you money. The bill will be higher than it would have been if you lived alone. Okay, okay. I'll give you that. Every- I, I, I totally understand where you're coming from, and I totally, I've lived that way my whole entire life. I'm 29 right now. I've been in several relationships. I've never been married. I don't have a ki- any kids. I have so many friends of mine that got that hooked up very, at a very young age. And how miserable they are with their wives because they do everything that they tell them to do. And now they've been together so long to have kids, when they're going to decide to split up with them, they're going to take most of their money. And that is an unreal, unreal situation. But the, that's, that, that's why you don't get married and you don't let them live with you. Well, you've been married four times, though. I'm just out of curiosity. Uh, because uh, the same reason a lot of you morons get married, uh, because it's what we know, it's what we see, it's what we've heard. My parents were married for 40 years until my dad died. And so when I screwed up in a marriage, I thought, well, it's not the fault of marriage, it's my fault. Okay. But um, I realized, finally, after doing it wrong several times, it, it's not me, it's marriage. Well, all women, all women are nutty. I've learned that really quick. It's the ones that can put up with you. App zero tolerance policy. You're out! You can't use the S word on the air. He did. That's it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here is John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Hey, what's going on? Hey, I just want to talk about all these pussies that are calling. And I wanted to say this. I'm 19 years old. I go to college, I have a restaurant, I work in the restaurant serving, and let me tell you this, I got great business, even with the ladies, and I don't deal with any of that crap, and I'm barely 19. And I hear these guys calling, oh, I'm married, and my wife's telling me not to do this or to do this, and I'm thinking, you know what? That's ridiculous. I didn't know that men had to ask women for, you know, suggestions or anything. I didn't know we couldn't make up our own minds. I'm just saying, that's really ridiculous, and I'm agreeing with you completely, and I think the whole, how you're having this entire hour to talk to the people who are making it, is a genius idea. I'm tired of talking just to losers, so next hour I'm going to talk to the winners. I'm going to talk to the guys who are really successful, because I don't think anything will make the pussies uh, more motivated to change than to hear other people, not just me, but other people who listen to this program every day who are super successful. Yeah, I've been listening to you. I've known, I knew you had a uh, listener that's been listening to you since the summer started, and that's what I did, too. My grandpa used to listen to you all the time when I was little, and I hear him like, oh, listen to this guy, you know, and I got a kick out of it. But um, in the beginning of the summer, I barely started listening to you. And you know what? You, like... You're the you're the new Bible, the New Testament, if anything. Everything you say is just perfect. Like there's no there's nothing wrong with what you're saying. And I agree completely with this whole hour of talking with the winners because you do talk to a lot of pussies and they complain a lot. And if I don't know how you handle it, but I would have exploded right when I had the first job. Because <laughs> dealing with all these kinds of guys, I don't know how you do it. Drives me nuts. What? What's that? It drives me insane. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. I just listening as a listener. It's these people that call, like I said, you got a call uh, that guy earlier who was talking about um, when he's doing some type of uh, payment or something. The other guy's asking his wife, "Well, is it okay if I do this?" That's ridiculous. Ridiculous to have a man like you know, like ask your wife or your girlfriend, "Honey, is it okay if I do this?" No. No way. No way. Guys do it all the time. Yeah. But, I don't know. It's just some guys out there, The mostly all the ones that you've been talking to are stupid. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know how else to say it. You know, I'm 19 going to college, and I've got my life set. 
And I hear all these guys in their 20s, mid-20s, even early 30s saying, Tom, I don't know what to do with my life. Well, first thing you should have done was probably go to college and not have a girlfriend. Uh, this, by the way, where are you ever going to have access to more hot chicks oh, all exactly. in the same place? Exactly. And in USA, let alone, oh, so many fish in the sea, and one guy is complaining over one girl. I mean, come on. You have I, I don't know. You have to be really stupid to do something like that. Because, I don't know, women, I, I don't know, I'm just completely agreeing with you, Tom. Everything you say since this... Since the summer started, and you've been speaking the truth, man. Thank you, John. Not a problem. I want to ask if you could take me out with a bong rip. I certainly can, John. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. That's our telephone number. Maria on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, yeah. I feel so bad that you blew. Well, I don't feel bad because these guys need to hear it. I mean, I'm straight. I don't want to be with a pussy, you know. Well, I glad to hear that. Men. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but I don't understand these women either because they. I mean, you always say who you're with is a reflection of yourself, of your own self-esteem, right? Right. Why would they want to be with these losers? I don't understand this. Well, I think they milk these losers for everything they can get, and then they move on to other losers. By the way, this is why these same guys who call in and complain they're paying for everything, these are the same guys who call in and say that they're not getting any sex anymore, that the sex is lousy, and that's because the women don't respect them. I have friends like that. I, I used to, you know, before I found out about you in high school, I used to tell everybody the same things you tell people. And they used to laugh at me. And now I could say, you know what? Listen to Tom Likas. I've been saying this for years. It's all even, true. Even in, my, even in my family, recently, I, I, I have a boyfriend. And I didn't want one because I just, I got to get settled with my life. I have a career and everything. and But I, I ended up getting into a relationship very slowly, very carefully. He doesn't pay for anything. We go half on everything. If we go out, we go half. Sometimes he really wants to pay. That's fine. I'm, not, I'm a girl. I'm not going to protest. I'll admit that. But I also like to pay for him sometimes. But as long as it's all fair, I don't nag. If he doesn't like something I don't, that I do, I don't appreciate that. So why would I do that back? But I look at him and I think, wow, you know, he's actually a catch. Why do I have him? And meanwhile, my family, I'm Hispanic, by the way, my family, oh, you, you're living because I'm just moving in with him. You're living with him. He should pay for everything. And I, I look at them, and they're, they're 50 and 60 and single with kids. Like, right, I'm going to listen to your advice. And <laughs> all your men left you. Right. <laughs> now, uh, you know what? I love you. i, I got to admit, I used to be married, and I was unhappy because I'm in so I kind of did fall into the trap. I don't have any children, though. I don't. And both me and my ex-husband listened to your show. And this is advice that I used to give, but somehow I fell out of my own advice. I didn't listen. I didn't take it. Him, too. He used to say the same things. I guess we thought we were in love, and maybe we were, but we fell out of love. And we kind of stuck with each other, and then we started listening to you, and we kind of sat down one day, and we're like, hey, you know what? We shouldn't be married. We should go and finish doing our thing and... He had dropped out of college. He went back to school. I have a career now. He has a career now. We're both happy. We're friends still. People shouldn't rush into these things. They just shouldn't. Just take care of yourself. Stop being a pussy, for God's sake. Ugh. I it, feel it, for you, man. It is killing me. Oh, I'm going <laughs> to tell them. And I hope those losers are listening next hour when I talk to the guys who are completely successful and don't tolerate any crap from anybody. Yeah. Oh, by the way, by the way, these losers, you, I, I hope they listen to me. I really do hope they listen to me. I'm not a supermodel. I'm not. But I am hot. I am a singer in a band. I do have a lot of groupies that I don't sleep with, of course. But I'm not going to go out with a pussy. So think about the kind of girl that you want and think about the kind of man that you should be if you want to be in a relationship. But you don't really need to be in one. You really don't. Even me and my boyfriend, we know that we don't need to be in one. That was kind of the thing why we didn't want to date each other, but ultimately we ended up doing that. So uh, you just got to be careful about these things. But for God's sake, everybody out there, please just think because you're ruining society. Come on. Come on. Step it up for God's sake. 
Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The advice you give us is worth more than money. It's worth my weight in gold. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, my name is Tom Likas. And I am just so tired. Tired, tired of talking to one loser after another. One loser after another. Oh, they're killing me. And so I had a meltdown. And I'm taking your calls about this at 1 800 5800 Tom. Coming up after the top of the hour, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to talk to the phenomenally successful people who listen. Some of them will be industrialists, some celebrities. Who, who knows? I know they're out there because I meet them all the time. But it's frustrating because we do these shows. We have losers calling in. Some people think all the listeners are losers. We're going to talk to those who are not losers who listen to this show every day. At, uh, coming up in about 20 minutes. So even if you have something else to do, be sure to come back and listen at the top of the hour. And you're going to hear that. I've been telling you this for years. Now hear it for real. Mm. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Manny on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? This is a great topic you're talking about. I have a coworker. That is probably one of the biggest, biggest pussy. He's, this guy is only 24 years old. He's trying to get married. He does not even settle down yet. His girlfriend, she doesn't even have a car, not even a job. He's going to be paying for everything for her. I think that's what she's, she wants to get married with him. Really? And it's not even, and everybody tells him, don't get married. Wait until she at least has a decent job so she could at least have her own car. Pay her home bills. Instead, he's like, "No, I'm in love. I know what she is to me, and this and that." But it's a bu- bunch of BS. This guy's just gets taken for a ride, and we tell him she already bought her a cell phone, and he's paying for it because she doesn't have a job. Oh my God! And I know he's listening, and this is a great topic. We even called him over and told him, "Look, listen, listen. What Tom has to tell you right here. This t- this guy's telling you the truth. At a young age, she already strike one." The girl doesn't have a job. Strike two. Everything's against them right now. Killing me. Hey, but Tom, I want to say you're the best. I, I, should we listen to you here? I work all the time. And can you take me out Phil Hartman style with uh, Lacey Peterson? Boy, oh boy. Yeah, you've been listening for a while. Phil Hartman style. Yeah. And with Lacey, Lacey Peterson, Peterson, baby. All right. That's a doubleheader. Uh, here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Armando on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Long listener, first time caller. Thank you. My name's uh. Well, I'm in the army, Tom. Uh, big secret day. I'm pissed off all the pussy soldiers that I deal with. They have the same rank as me, and thanks to girlfriends or wives, they get, don't have even enough money to buy a beer. Come on, guys. I'm successful in my career. I have three Harley Davidsons. What are you waiting for? Makes perfect sense to me. Come on, guys. By the way, by the way, these guys would all own three Harley Davidsons or three of anything they ever wanted to have if they would stop giving money to chicks. They don't see that. Exactly, Tom. That's my whole point, though. And I see soldiers. I've been out of the country, been to other countries, and I see soldiers wasting their money on stupid girls that are not even worth it. So guys grow up. Find yourself another hobby, try to get laid without no spending any money. I'm very successful, and I'm doing it. So that's my advice for you, soldiers. Sounds good to me, Armando. Thank you for the call, 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. David on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, David. Dave, hey, how you doing? <laughs> doing great. Right on. I'm phenomenal. Let's talk about success right now. Let's talk about the ones that are actually listening to the show that know what they're doing that are taking the advice, because that's the problem these days. Most people don't listen. They shake their head, they nod, and they say, you know what, I understand. Yeah, you're right, I'm going to do that. But 99% of them don't do it. 
And the problem, I think, here, honestly, is every girl out there, every one of them, and I speak from experience, years of experience, every one of them has issues, has problems, has baggage, has crap going on, but a lot of them mask it really, really well. I've been with girls that have been masking for for a year, and I'm like, wow, this might be the one. But the bottom line is they all have problems, and I think the key here we need to do is move on. As soon as you find out they have a problem, you see the problem, they spit it out right in front of you. We need to move on. I've been happy dating for years now, and I've been with the ones that I thought were the one. And you know what? Bing, there it goes. They're not the one. I move on. And That's like, if you wait long enough with most women, eventually the fatal flaw will come out. Of course, they all do. Like I said, some are just really good at hiding it. And I've been with ones that I thought were, wow, this is really going to be the one here. There's no issues, no baggage, But no that's drama. why so many of them are in a rush to get married. So many of them are in a rush to move into your place. They want to do it before you figure out what, the, what their problem is. <laughs> before the mask comes, exactly. They've been revealed. They've been noticed. And that's the problem. I think most guys, they give their heart. They give everything they can because they, some girls have hit it for a year. And by then, they're strapped. They're whipped. They feel great. This could be the one. So they figure, hey, you know what? Oh, I guess I'm kind of used to this arguing, this fighting, and all this drama. I guess I maybe I'll get married, and maybe things will change. Maybe they'll get better. Maybe if we have a kid, they'll get even better. Yeah. That is insane, and that's why all these shows, the mystery men, magic men, relationship men, your show, all these shows do so well. I and mean, you've got a voice that everybody can hear and understand. You can, hey, listen, I'm telling them. I'm going to tell you some what to do. And that's how you – and they don't hear it. They're not hearing it because they can't. They, they don't want to listen. <laughs> how can you not – you've got a voice that comes out, and it's heard very loud. They don't hear it. They don't want to hear it. They agree, but they just don't listen. Yeah. <laughs> Girls and guys. And like I said, I am the happiest I've ever been because I'm realizing, wow, you know what? I'm going to move on. As soon as it gets stale, as soon as it gets old, as soon as it gets crappy, what do I do? I move on. And I'm very nice about it. I said, listen, this probably isn't. I'm not the one for you. And I put it all on them. You're the nice one. You're great. You're fine. You don't have any problems, even though you just spill them all to me. But listen, you're great. It's me. It's a thing that I'm going through. Let's just end this on a good note and move on. And there's a way to do it without causing all the crap. It's just I think 99% of guys just don't know how to do it. They don't know how to move on. They're too scared. They're comfortable. I think you're right. <laughs> you know? David, thank you for that. <laughs> you got it. Have a great one. Appreciate the call. Here comes Dan on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? I'm okay, Dan. How about you? Oh, man, hanging in there, hanging in there. You know, just listening to all this, I, I just I just sit back and scratch my head because I, I, I'm, I'm a single parent. I'm 34 years old. I have custody of my 7-year-old, which I think I pioneered that whole revolution as far as a man getting custody of his child. I mean, let me tell you, it was brutal. And before anybody gets their week, they need to look back at the genetic background of, of both men and women. Um I'm actually going to write a book called "Hey You Out the Gene Pool." I, I think it's going to be a it's going to be the field guide to those of you who think that you want to fall in love and start something with somebody that you hardly even know because everybody's getting married and the divorce rate is so high and it, it's just it's just like why why waste the time you, you know it play the field. Enjoy your life, both men and women, and, and, and just be really, really careful before you say those I love you words. You, you know, it's, it's, uh, cause everything anymore is so fast paced, and it's, it's sucked the relationships right into that whole fast paced life. The era is moving way too fast, and people don't know what they're doing, and especially with all the drugs and stuff that's gone on back in the day, you know, the gene, the gene pool is honestly screwed up, you know, and it's it's hard to pick and choose, you know, and, and to all of you out there that are holding tight in your marriages, I wish you all the luck, but the ones of you who, who, who just got married and are sitting back scratching your head, Brothers, I feel for you because I was there. My marriage lasted barely a year, and, you know, you got to keep an eye on your other partner. It's sad. I mean, it's almost like you have to keep tabs because you don't know what they're doing. And to top it all off, it's, you know, especially if there's a kid involved. It's 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 very sad because not being able to look back, it, hindsight they say is twenty twenty, and they are so right. Thank and, you, thank you for that, Dan. I I do appreciate the call. Spirit is listening to us online from Jersey City, New Jersey. 
on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Spirit. Man, oh, man, great son of Sam. Look at here, look at here. Tom, let me tell you, use this as a drop. You are the truth, the way, and the light. You hear me? Why, thank you, Spirit. You are, man. I'm. Listen, let me tell you about me, first of all. Ten years ago, came home from prison. I used to be a little hardhead, knucklehead, little, you know, crazy bastard. Coming up in the uh, concentration camps of America, the projects. And, you know, I got, you know, wasn't being responsible, got, got in trouble, went to jail, came home. And I said, you know what? I need to try something different. Now, mind you, when I came home, I wasn't doing that, nothing therapeutic mentally to, 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 to get me, fo- you know, to move me forward. I tuned into your show in 2002, 2003 on mainstream radio here in New York City. You know, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut is a tri-state area. I tuned into your show, man, and let me tell you, your show helped me see a lot of things more clearly, man. And let me tell you, from there on, I've been I've been doing what I needed to do. I've been I mean I've been working, and then I said screw it. I got laid off from my job, and you know what? I decided I needed something to talk about. I needed to talk how Tom is talking. I need to lay it down how Tom is laying it down because not only is there a high level of, as I heard you on one of your uh, podcasts, a high level, a high concentration of ball-busting bitches. I wish I had more time. Tom Likes Show.